Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please stick around, don't be a stranger, and consider subscribing because I am absolutely sure that you're going to love, not like, but love what you see here. If this is not your first time here, I don't even know why we got to have this conversation. You keep coming back for a reason, so come on in, baby. Come on in to the Iffy Constance family and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. On today, guys, I am going to show you guys how I built this massive, massive kitchen island. Since we moved into this home, I said that I want me a kitchen island and I've been looking around online for one, but for what I wanted, they were anywhere from $500 to $1,200. And I said to myself, girlfriend, when your father was alive, he owned his own construction business. You grew up on construction sites. You know how to put a hammer to a nail to a piece of wood and get it together. So guys, that's what I did. I built my very own kitchen island. And if you guys want to see how I did that, stick around. And I'm also put this in the description, so don't worry about writing it down. And then I have 12 one by four by eights. And these are, and let me double check them, these are 24 inches long. Yep. Right on the money. So, what I am going to do, because I only need, starting off, I only need two for the top and for the bottom so I'm gonna put the other ones out of my way and I need four of the smaller ones and to get these together guys I am going to use two inch finishing nails and I got the ones that have the smooth shank on them because um, I don't want huge nail holes everywhere. So to get these together, these are going to be the top and the bottom. And the smaller ones, one is going to be on either side and two is going to be in the middle. So let me go ahead and get these together. And like I said, I'm going to nail them and not drill them. Because the only thing I'm going to do to the wood when I'm done is I'm going to sand it. And that's going to be about it. The joys of working outside.
base and I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the bottom base. To go ahead and I'm going to start putting the tops on. And the first top that I'm going to do is the, actually the very top of it. Let me bring the camera closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to do. So guys, what I'm going to do first is I am going to I got my first one by 10, and this is one by 10 by eight, and I'm gonna put the middle one on first. So, and I wanna make sure that on each side, the overlay is even. So, on this side it goes. that's even and then I have my Gorilla wood glue even though I'm going to put you know nails in this my finishing nails and I like that side better I'm still going to glue it to give it that extra coat so let me go ahead and glue this on and this is the top one and like I said guys don't worry about writing anything down because I'm going to put everything that you need in the description and I'm also going to insert everything that I purchased and everything you're going to need for this project. And I may also add the links down below to some of the items. Um, I'll talk to you guys about the wood and how much that cost at the end because that's probably the only thing I won't link below. I'm not going to be able to link the wood below. But everything else I'm using, I'll probably be able to link that below. Okay. That looks about right. Let me measure it again. I should have glued this in too. But I didn't. But it's okay. It. And that's good. That's on the money. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to get this hammered down on here. go through and it didn't either side so that's good do this as well and I'm putting it straight in the middle of that middle board that I put in to make sure that it's not going through the sides brain won't let me not check. Out here. 
I should have did it up under here, guys. It is hot, I tell you that. These birds are so disrespectful. One pooped on me the other day, and that was the second time. with the two end ones I'm going to put glue on the end as well guys I love this Gorilla Glue it does what it's supposed to do and I'm going to put glue on the side of the wood well all that I can anyway so it won't fall on down but this just add that little extra security to it to make sure it's on there and not going nowhere you don't want to build something and it don't stay together well guys after I complete this one I'm not going to record me doing the bottom one because it is very hot out here and I have my camera in the sun and I don't want my camera to get too hot let me see which side do I want to go with I like this side I'm not a clean line person I like textures and all that good stuff guys yes I like to see it all there we go so, it's like last time, I'm gonna start in the middle. Hello? Whew, telemarketers, Jesus. Hey, Nadia, you can put my phone over there so it won't get hot. Cause right here, it's gonna be hot. Okay. Thank you. And I, be, and I do the middle first, guys because if the wood is not completely straight and you do the middle, you push it out. And if it's bowing a little, you push all that out when you do the middle to make it flat. Cause I'm not the girl that you used to Making me smile, you're that 
dude I set me up cause we're so cool Yeah, we're so cool Not the girl that you used to Making me smile, yeah, that dude I set me up cause we're so cool Yeah, we're so cool Yeah, we're so cool So keep it so cool Guys, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the bottom boards and then I'm going to be right back because I want to turn my camera off so it don't get too hot in this sun out here. Okay guys, so get out the camera. Get out the camera. Okay guys, so what we are going, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the 4 by 4 this is the top piece and I'm going to attach the 4 by 4s which is going to be the legs. So what I'm going to do first is, and of course they're going to be on the inside of the base on the corner. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put glue down where it's going to be. And then I am going to melt it. And this part of it, I could use the drill and drill it in. But I don't want to split my wood, so I'm going to see how it looks before I do that. Okay. So I'm going to get that in there. And I have my drill, but I don't think I'm going to drill anything, guys. I think I'm going to just continue with the nails.
okay guys so i am going to add the legs to the bottom portion of the table um the six feet legs the legs are six feet i meant six inches excuse me so i'm gonna add them i'm gonna sand them and i'm gonna add them and then we're gonna move everything to the porch because it's getting um a little dark and i think it's gonna start raining so after i add them i'm gonna sand all of this down and then we're gonna put it together and then get it moved to the porch so we can get it stained we're gonna stain it on the porch because i don't want to start staining it and then it, the rain starts that'll be a total disaster hey guys so we had them actually moved to the porch to put it together so what we have if you take a look at this guys that's the bottom this is the top and it's turned on the you know on the very top of it and this is the bottom so i need to attach the bottom to the top so the only thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna glue it really good and then i'm gonna put some nails in it um to attach the two together okay guys so of course i am not tall enough because i have the you know um the island sitting on a table so i had to stand up on the chair i've already glued the bottom um of the top piece and the um the top of the bottom piece together so now i'm gonna just take a nail and i'm gonna secure it in here so it'll be secure and i'm gonna do put two nails in it and then i am going to and this lightning guys it's done in the light i knew the rain was gonna come back uh -uh. i ain't hammer no nail quick at all day. i ain't starting now there we go and then give me that end right there i've already sanded these ends so this is the good end what i'm gonna do is i'm going to glue this here and then i'm gonna nail it in I would get up here and ain't got the glue. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to put the glue down. Like that. Because you want it to stay. Like I said, you want your pieces to stay. So, I'm going to put that glue in there. And I'm going to take my nails. And I'm going to put two on each side. Two here and two here. I'm going to put two on each side. He's in the way. He is so in the way. Get your head out of here. Nobody in the way. Guys, I'm going to start staining it. Because I'm going to start staining it. Because I'm going to start staining it. Because I'm going to start staining it. I had to bring it inside because it was raining. I went on ahead and I sanded it down outside. Because I didn't want all of that in the house so I went on here and sand it outside and I think I'm going to like this cold stain that I'm using I wish I can come here give me the paper plate right there just give me one I'm going to put this on top of it yeah yep I definitely like this color stain that I'm using guys and I'm going to use the sponge. I should have used the rag. But you know when you stain, you're supposed to go the same way that the grain is going. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this stain, guys. And then I will show you guys what it's looking like. And I am using an oil-based stain. I like oil-based stains. A lot of people don't. A lot of people switch to water-based. But to me, oil base is the best. That's just my opinion. Comment down below and tell me what kind of stains y'all like to use. What you looking at? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Kevin, y'all got jokes in here, y'all. He about to get beat up. Y'all about to see him get bust up. He always be messing with me. I'm a graduate. You what? I'm a graduate. You, you. Yeah, Kevin, y'all graduated today, guys. It is May what? What is Cam? May what? 22nd. My baby graduated from high school today, guys. So comment down below and tell my boo that you were proud of him for graduating. And if you want to send him a gift, I'll put my P.O. box down at the bottom. 
And you can send him a gift. I'm so proud of him. Even though he get on every nerve in my body. When I do wood projects, guys, I love when the wood is like flawed. I don't like perfect looking wood. It looks so much better when it have those little things and the marks and stuff on them. It is freaking amazing. This thing looks nice. Come here, do me a favor. Pick my camera up and bring it right here and show them what this thing is looking like so far. He my cameraman, y'all. Cam the cameraman. You got to move out the light, boy. You in the light. So they can see. Oh, Lord. He done dropped the camera. Y'all see that? Look at that. You see? You can see how it looks with and without it. I love this thing. Go ahead and put the camera back. And make sure you set it back up right. But I'm going to go. And I am going to. Really okay. care. I'm going to stain the whole thing. I know this brush ain't break. Oh, you a lot. That's what. Look at this. The brush done broke. Ain't that a mess? Mm. Bring me some gloves, Cam. I got some in my coat pocket. They in my car, though. Bring me some gloves because I'm going to have to get my hands in here. I'm not doing it, son. Boy, hurry up. You ain't doing nothing else but eating. I feed you. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing Where you in my purse in my room and then I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. I think I'm going to pull the camera over a little bit on this shelf over here so you guys can see what it's looking like. My lighting in my kitchen is so bad. I got to fix my lighting, guys. Hold up. I'm going to put it over here so y'all can see what it's looking like because I want y'all to see it. Let me put this up. Hey, hey, I want you to see. Get on, get on my nerves. And I think I'm going to do this thing dries fast. You're supposed to wait. This thing dries fast, guys. So you're supposed to wait an hour in between coats. See that? So, let me get this thing. And look, the brush broke. But we're going to make it do what it do anyway. Let me stop talking. And get this thing. Why are they so strong in here? That's why I opened that door. Oh boy, you fake. You so fake, shut up. I can't stand you. You fake. Kimmy is fake, y'all. He be faking it. He in there watching avatars. But I ain't gonna say he 18, though. Be watching them avatars. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do him like that. I ain't gonna let everybody know his business like that. I ain't gonna let everybody know he 18 be watching cartoon and stuff. And. He say and? <laughs> I know that's right, Cam. So ain't no shame in your game. Cam, y'all say he ain't shame. looks fucking amazing. I ain't gonna even lie. Oh, I did that, y'all. You girl did that, man. Hey, I can't even lie. I did that. Cam, I might need your help. Oh, it's like that, you little bald head scalawag.
I need you to come and look at me on this floor with the camera. I need you to come and do this. Put the camera down on the floor so it'll see me. Come on, boy. Go put the camera on the floor. Because I can't see. So it'll see me. If you think I should be getting paid for this, comment pay in the comment section. Shut up. Pay you no know attention. Pay you no know attention. Boom. Thank you, funny. No, I ain't no comedian. I spit facts, not jokes. How about that? What, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. You better shut up in these streets talking to me. I'm about to be fat. You about to be what? Can I eat it all the time? I ain't trying to body shame nobody. You do eat all the time. Only I can body shame myself. Do you not eat all the time? I'm not answering that question. Well, what? I'm not answering Why that. not? The truth will make you free. You mean the truth will set you free? No, it will make you free. Okay, streets. The truth will make you free. God trying to use you if you let him. Hallelujah. Tell the truth. And shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil.
forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until the next video, stay safe and stay humble, my loves. I love you guys. And look, check out my other videos, guys. See you later. <laughs>